I need to find the polynomial of lowest degree with only real coefficients, they should have said rational, and having these zeros, five plus the square root of seven, five minus the square root of seven, and four. And there's an assumption that A is one. We're gonna go ahead and assume that for this. It should say so, it doesn't, but it's their mistake. The answer always ends up with A is one. in this book. Okay, how do I get the polynomial? I use, well, I can make that blue, f of x equals one times x minus z one times x minus z two. I should have said A. A times X minus Z1 times X minus Z2 times X minus Z3. So we're going to have F of X equals. This is one times that. times x minus five plus the square root of seven times x minus five minus the square root of seven. All right. So f of x equals, I can let the one disappear, x minus four times x minus five minus the square root of seven, x minus five plus because minus times minus is plus, the square root of seven. Okay, now, there is a special way to do this that makes life a lot easier on you. And on me. f of x equals x minus four. I put x minus four in front because it's just going to be repeated a good deal. It's not going to do anything for a while. Now, I want you to notice something. And in fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to brackets. I'm going to write the X minus five as X minus five, but blue, minus the square root of seven, bracket, X minus five, plus, the square root of seven. Now the reason I put brackets is I'm about to insert parentheses. The X minus five and the X minus five are just alike. the square root of seven and the square root of seven. They're just alike.
The only difference between this and this is that they have opposite signs in the middle. You can sort of look, look at these like, let's come over here. A minus B times A plus B. Those are conjugates. And when we multiply conjugates together, the following thing happens. A squared plus AB minus AB minus B squared. And look what happens to the middle terms. AB minus AB is zero. So you have A squared plus zero minus B squared, which gives you A squared minus B squared. So when you multiply conjugates, what you get is the first term squared minus the second term squared. Now that's already written down here, so I'm going to erase it up here just so I'll have more room. But keep that in mind. because that's precisely what we are going to do to these. We're going to let this equal a, and the square root of seven equal b. And the only difference between them is the sign in the middle. So I know the following. This is so cool. What could have been a very difficult multiplication has just become a much easier multiplication. This is x minus 5 in parentheses squared minus the square root of 7 squared. Well, my goodness. x minus 5 times x minus 5 is x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25. So this is going to be x squared minus 10x plus 25. And this is going to be minus 7. Because when you square a square root, the square and the square root cancel each other out, and you're left with the radicand, the thing under the radical. Meanwhile, these guys are over here kind of twiddling their thumbs. We're, we're going to bring them back in in just a minute. All right, all right.
we're going to have x minus 4 times x squared minus 10x plus 18. Is that right? 25 minus 7 is 18. We could do this. I'm going to take this X, multiply it by what's in the parentheses there, X squared minus 10X plus 18, and then take the minus four, X squared minus 10X plus 18. Now I distribute, I combine like terms, and I'm done. F of X equals X cubed minus 10X squared plus 18X minus 4X squared plus 40X minus 4 times 8 is 32, minus 72. I think, let's make sure. Negative 4 times positive 18. Yeah, okay. So now all I have to do is combine my like terms and I have the polynomial that is built from these three zeros. So x to the third minus 10x squared minus 4x squared is minus 14x squared plus 18x plus 40x is plus 58x. Minus 72. Ta-da! 